All right, hello everybody. This uh, should be working and hopefully you can see the lovely captions down below if you need them. Um, welcome to the first episode of the classic cooking show, uh, The Sous Chef with your host, Tyler Daguerre. Um, I call myself The Sous Chef because it combines the law, Sioux, um, and chef, which is me. And it's also a pun, you know, speaking of puns, do not practice cooking without a very cute and punny, um, what the hell are these called? Why? See this uh, apron, apron, there we go. Okay, it's gonna be a rough one because I'm just doing this on Zoom. I'm like literally hitting record, doing the thing, pausing, fixing up for the next step. But look, it's gonna run great. This is all improvised as is my life. Um, and by the way, today's recipe is brought to you by procrastination. Uh, procrastination, why do today what you can worry about tomorrow? Uh, I have finals in a few days. I got the second dose of the vaccine yesterday. Um, so today I slept for about 14 hours. Um, to answer your question, I have not outlined, but I am excited to make some vegan jackfruit uh, sandwiches. And uh, you know, I hope you're uh, excited with me. And then if you like this video sometime in the future, make sure to come by Starbucks and say, hey, I miss you in law school. All right, well, we're gonna get started enough further. Uh, so, whether or not you decided to boil your jackfruit um, to get the brine flavor out or just give it a little rinsey rinse in the sink, um, it should be looking something like this. If you didn't rinse it, it's going to be a little bit lighter, a little bit uh, greener than what it is currently. This is cool. It has like a nice pinkish gray tone. It reminds me of like carnitas, if, if anyone's familiar. Um, and I'm really excited to sort of show you how to cook it up. So. First things first, uh, I'm the realist, and also let me make sure we have all the right spices here. So to my left of the screen here is everything you should have. So two cans of jackfruit, which is what this is, right? And then um, barbecue seasonings. So you don't have to be super strict on this. You can just sort of get creative, use what you want. I like to eyeball things, um, not super precise. Um, just ask my final papers, right? <laughs> um, so here is onion powder. I have some smoked paprika to give it some good uh, smokiness some good barbecue flavor chili powder for that full bodied sort of spice cayenne pepper because i like a little kick as well mm, that is francesca fonzetti i'm going to let her in special guest today and uh we'll pick back up where we left off she's coming up the stairs we're gonna surprise her she doesn't know i'm recording currently so hopefully this is you know appropriate welcome to the show i'm just recording here um the uh, jackfruit pulled pork video. So, you know, give the people some love, say hello. Hi. Francesca Fonzetti, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Uh, there's Gatorade. Oh, wow, it ate pack of Gatorade because I feel bad from the vaccine, as I mentioned before. So thank you, Francesca, very much for that. I appreciate all the thoughtfulness. Um, so to recap on the seasonings, we got onion powder, smoked paprika, cayenne, chili powder, black pepper, and I that in there, I like pepper. Uh, garlic powder. And then I personally got some barbecue sauce from Trader Joe's, which I'm stoked about. This is TJ's Organic Kansas City Style Barbecue. Um, no real reason why I grabbed this over any others. I just don't know what the hell Kansas City barbecue sauce tastes like. So I said this, what I'm going to put in my body. And then some brown sugar. Uh, accidentally left it open. So um, it's a little hard, but still counts. Um, and last but not least, I got my avocado for my slaw or slavocado, if you will. I uh, got a little lime right here to make it zingy. And then we got our coleslaw cabbage mix from Trader Joe's. So let's get uh, creative with it. Oh, I need to grab my buns. Um, here we go. I got some buns just from Stop and Shop. Again, I think these are like two bucks, super cheap. Um, and they're accidentally vegan, um, two for $3. Look at that, have a whole party. Um, and then other than that, I'll show you what I'm pairing you with later on. Um, but you know, let's take our time. I also have some maple syrup here, um, which we're going to use in this slot. So going to move on to our next step. So stick around and uh, I'll be right back with you on the sous chef. Alrighty. Welcome back. So now we are in the adding seasoning stage. Um, I've got some Jack for the you can wash it off. Um, so let's go ahead and just apply these liberally. Um, I mean, this is all of the personal preference. You can follow the uh, seasoning guide if you need a little more step-by-step. -step. But, um, you know, I just kind of like to wing it and I know what's, uh, what's good for me. So doing paprika, 
that was onion powder, garlic powder. We're gonna add a good amount of that. I'll probably add more paprika too because that really gives it that nice smoky flavor. Then we got some cayenne in here, a little kick, not too much. Chili powder. Okay, and um, a little bit of pepper. Oh, you know what, and some salt too. We should probably add a little bit of salt. There we go. A pinch of salt as they say in the biz. Cool, okay, well, we got all that. Ooh, some brown sugar as well. Not that I forget, the brown sugar. All righty, we got that all mixed in there. Now we're gonna use our hands, get really hands-on deep into the material like I have not done this year. All right, Tyler, enough of the self-deprecating finals jokes, you're fine. And you know, just get in there, make sure it's all evenly coated. You know what that looks like. Some of it, um, it should all have little specks of seasoning on it. If some are darker or different color than other, you just gotta keep getting in there. And then what you'll notice too, if you sort of cooked the jackfruit or did anything you know, with it, it's falling apart with your hands. So you're getting some nice, uh, nice shredding there going as well. I'm not just talking about my arms, <laughs> but thank you for noticing. Um, and you know, by the end of it, you're gonna have some well-seasoned jackfruit that you can just start cooking. So let's see, we're gonna heat a skillet next. So I'm gonna wash my hands and then grab the skillet and we'll get going on it. This is exciting. This is the easy part. I literally took two hours to boil jackfruit for this. So this is the fun fast part. All right, skillet, home skillet, where are you? Um, probably need a lid of the fish. Do, cool. All right, so. I do like the setup here. I got all my lights on and then I have a ring light. I don't know if that's cheating, but um, I have a ring light for production value because uh, I'm not just gonna go basic on you. Come on, I uh, need you to see my face in 4K. So let's see. All right, I, as I mentioned in the recipe, I'm gonna use avocado oil. I like how it cooks up. It has a really high heat index, meaning, you know, it gets really warm before it starts to burn, which is good because that'll allow you to get your jackfruit nice and crispy. So here we go. So we're gonna turn the front skillet on and let's see what I say next. Get a skillet over medium heat with some oil. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Let the pan get hot, smart. Uh, add your seasoned jackfruit to the pan, two to three minutes. Okay, wow, it's literally just that fast. I mean, here we go. So gonna let that get nice and warm. It should take a couple, 30 seconds maybe, 30 seconds to a minute. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna get a fork out, just to kind of, uh, you know, further mix it up. And that's gonna be what I use to put it into the pan. If you don't really want it to clump, especially if you tried to, you know, uh, squeeze the water out of it, it might clump a little bit. And even though most of the moisture will leave it, you still just wanna get in there with your fork, you know, see, I don't know if you can tell, but it's getting nice and shreddy. And it'll only get more shreddy as we um, cook it. Call me Shreddy Van Halen. All right. So that should be good on the pan. We're going to put it in here. Hopefully it sizzles. Really, that would be such a nice little touch. Sizzle. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I don't think it's hot enough yet. I'm gonna let it heat up and then um, once it's ready to go. Um, so just to sort of bide my time and also show you what else I'm doing, I'm gonna pair this with a can of baked beans. Um, I've not tried these Trader Joe's baked beans, but felt like it'd be appropriate, right? Very barbecue-y. Um, so, Big beans, and then um, also nice little snack, some potato chips, right? Very, uh, very Fourth of July. Hey, pass me one of those old pork sliders. Shoot off a firework. I don't know. We're not going to do fireworks though, because it's dangerous. Um, and I don't have any anymore. So um, let's see. Gonna make sure that pan is nice and hot, which it is. Ooh, there we go. And now, let's see if we can get that sizzle going. Yeah, you hear that? Oh yeah, there we go. Cook it up, let's go. This, I already know this is gonna be good. Fun fact, this is the first time I've actually boiled the jackfruit too and it does make a big difference in terms of flavor. Um, because you'll notice 
once you take the jackfruit out, initially it smells very like briny, very pale, juice-like. Um, but after boiling it for two hours, uh, most of that flavor goes away, which is cool. Um, but if you don't have the time, then, you know, that's also something to consider. Let's see what else. So we're gonna cook it now for two to three minutes, and then we're gonna add barbecue sauce, add a little bit of water to thin it out, and stir it and reduce heat to low medium, cover and let cook for 20 to 35 minutes. Cool, okay. So we're gonna let this cook for two to three, you know, add the barbecue sauce, mix it up, let it go low medium, then we'll come back um, once it is ready to take out and, um, you know, add to the, the bun or, you know what, actually what I'll do is while that's simmering, we'll make our slaw. So stay tuned, come on back and uh, gonna make the slaw when we're ready to go. Real quick, I just wanted to show everybody sort of what, um, what it should look like when you're cooking it up. So this is the uh, pre-barbecue sauce stage. All right, and here is after adding the barbecue sauce. So we're going to make sure that we reduce our heat to low medium, and then we're gonna cover it with a lid and let it do its thing for about 20 to 25 minutes. And then right now we're gonna to transition to making the slaw. So now we're at the slaw portion of our um, recipe. So I put a little spoon in this sliced avocado and I'm just kind of going around the edges here. Oh, oh. <laughs> nice. Okay, so whole thing's in the bowl, a little bit of excess right there. And then we're gonna add our seasonings, which are, let's see, what are the seasonings for the slaw? Seasonings are, Maple syrup, lime, salt, and pepper. Oh, it's easy. Okay, so half an avocado did that. One tablespoon maple syrup to do that. Tablespoon of maple syrup. Okay, what else we got? We have. One lime, okay. One lime that seems a bit excessive, so I'm gonna probably keep it to half and salt and pepper. Okay, cool. So let's put our lime. Let's squeeze limes. These are from Trader Joe's, so they're probably like seven years old, which is why they're a little bit drier than normal ones. You could all use a workout. salt and pepper now. And just because I like it like that, I'm gonna add some garlic powder too. And probably some onion powder. Oops, no. onion powder. Onion powder. Ooh. Chill out garlic powder. We hear you. Um, so now I'm going to take my how should I use to match this? Go ahead and answer at home and I'll just manifest. Because it's half an avocado, I think you're right. I'm going to use another fork. Um, only problem is dot dot dot. Go ahead, another fork. Oh no! Wow. Well, oh, very unprepared, Tyler. What a surprise! All right. Um. Let's see. You know what? I'm going to use my little masher. That's fine. Masher off. For those of you who like sandwich from 12 years ago. Um. All right. I'm going to go ahead and mash this little dude. Pro tip, if you have an avocado that is just not ripe enough, go ahead and put it in a paper bag and fold it up. Um, honestly, they also recommend putting an apple or banana in there too, because I think like the phosphorus or nitrogen or one of those fancy um, elements uh, kind of sets in and gets trapped in the bag and then it ripens even faster. So pro tip, that's what I did with my avocado. Um, it was green and then two days later it is now like dark brown um, and I'd even use a banana or Apple, so it may have been even faster if I used that and just did it overnight. Um, let's see. Okay, so we mixed our avocado and all the other ingredients, so it should look like that. A nice little spread. And uh, again, like I mentioned, if you buy this mix or just, um, you know, want to do something else in general, you probably can. I don't know if you saw, but it just sneezed in my face. Um, but you know, wouldn't be the first time. Mm, okay, still smells good. I just want to make sure. Good. It is, it looks fine. Cool. Trader Joe's also, you never know. That's my only gripe about Trader Joe's. It's super affordable, but you never know if the stuff is going to be fresh enough. 
now. I'm not exactly sure why that is, but um, I would like that to change, please. Uh, so Trader Joe, if you're listening to this or whatever, just uh, mix it up for me. Thank you. And uh, maybe you could be a sponsor on the show. So I'm just going to take a little spoon, mix this up, make sure it's even. Honestly, I would probably get in here with my hands, but... So let's stir it up, stir it up, little dolphin, stir it up. Didn't know you were getting a, uh, a singing show either, did you? Huh? I do it all, folks. Anyway, uh, mixing this up should look pretty good, have a nice little greenish tinge to it, I'll show you. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's the secret to the slot, it literally takes a couple minutes to throw together, and once you got it, I mean, it's pretty bomb. I actually haven't tried this avocado slaw before. I have had avocado slaw, but I haven't put it on um, the jackfruit. So this should be a fun little exciting experience. However, when I saw it, I was like, actually, that sounds like a really good flavor combo. So again, feel free to do the avocado slaw, slaw avocado, or not. And that's totally fine. Make no laws when you're making the slaws, is what they say. I think. Maybe something else. But um, here is the finished product of the slaw. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We're going to leave that in. Not that I can edit anyway, but so you're not going to spill like I did. Don't worry. Still have enough slaw for everybody. Um, and when we come back, we're going to be done with the jackfruit and we're going to plate it, as they say. Also going to start my beans. Alrighty, welcome back. So this should have uh, taken about 20 to 35 minutes um, since you started slit simmering the barbecue jackfruit. So for me, it's been about 30 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and take it off the heat. Um, going to sort of let that sit, and while I do, I'm going to add my baked beans that I prepared and put them in a little bowl. So here we go. Take these little guys. I don't know if I'm, you know, too great at ASMR, but I'm not as creepy as you just fast forward through it. I'll let you know. Um, I'm also going to probably put tags on this, if I can, uh, since I'm uploading it to YouTube. Yeah, I can. Um, that way folks know, oh, at 2.35, he makes a really funny joke. Or, or you can just fast forward to the important stuff. Cool. Well, got our beans. Those are good. Um, and then let's check out the Jacques fruit, which is the French jackfruit. Uh, let me see. Come here. Hello, ooh, up close and personal. So check it out. Here's what we should have after 20 to 30 minutes. Let's uh, really get a good look there. I'm gonna even kind of scoop underneath. There should be a nice little brown crust. Ooh, look at that. Wow, okay, well, when we come back, we will be plating the dish and taking a bite. All right, folks, this is actually just a little extra thing that you don't have to do, but that I like to do. So first of all, because it's been cooking for 30 minutes or so, uh, it's getting not dry, but the sauce is baked in. So because I like it a little uh, moist, more moist, uh, I put some straight barbecue sauce back on it. And I'm gonna take a fork that I just washed um, and sort of shred it up with my hands because I want more of the, uh, not with my hands, the fork, because I want more of that pulled pork look. It still looks pretty shredded, but this is just sort of a perfectionist last minute for me here. So, Get in, you know, really you just gotta improvise, make it fun, tear it apart. The fork does most of the work. And at this point, I mean, after 30 minutes of cooking, it just falls apart. So that should be what you're getting. Um, and now here's what we're gonna do. So I added some barbecue sauce to these buns as well. So, I mean, you know, if you're not feeling as saucy as I am, and I'm a saucy boy, um, you don't have to do that step. But here's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna take my fork and just start scooping. As you see, I have prepared one for me and one for Miss Fonsetti. I'm gonna be eating those together. But you know, you can eat seven of these by yourself in the dark or have a bunch of friends. That is completely up to you. So we got that right there. And then, go. Makes it good. You'll notice that I cleaned up the spilled avocado slaw, slaw avocado earlier. And last but not least, I should get that little touch on there. I put a little more on mine. But I'm gonna give Francesca the better of the two. 
let's do it after the bulk head. Now we're gonna add our avocado right onto it. Okay, look at that. Ooh, check out that. Mm -mm -mm. Looking good, smelling better. All right, look at that. Okay, and we're gonna put their hats on. Good day, sir. Is squish. And good day, sir. Is squish. All right, so that is. Two barbecue jackfruit tacos with avocado slaw. We're gonna add our beans right here, potato chips. There we go. Ooh, look at that. Okay. And I tell you what, you bring this to a barbecue, you're gonna have all the meat eaters jealous. And you're gonna say, you know what? No bad blood. No blood at all, actually. I'm going to go ahead and share. And that is the vegan agenda in a nutshell. Um, so last thing we're going to do is try it out, take a bite. Uh, I will get Miss Fonzetti up, and we will take a bite in front of the camera, because who doesn't love to see that part, right? OK, everybody, it is time for the final step of the cooking tutorial. And then, of course, is eating it. My guest here, Francesca Fonzetti, um, is going to give an honest meat eater's opinion. Um, on the barbecue jackfruit um, sliders. So, without further ado, this one's ready. Oh, this is mine? No, no, no. Oh. Have, no <laughs> grab yours. Go ahead. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Honest opinion. It's good. No, it's good. No, it's good. But it's just, it's good. No, there's something else there. It's just the consistency is of the jackfruit is interesting. How would you describe it? Um. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Let's say you took <laughs> the meat eater's version, the pulled pork, <laughs> just the pork, and then you <laughs> sw <laughs> you swooshed it under a car. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but it tastes good, right? It tastes good. Okay, so, okay. Uh, there you have it, folks. That's all we're gonna say for the sous chef. I'm Taylor Deguerre. Francesca Fonsetti is breaking my heart.